Welcome to Rory Academy YouTube channel where we present information that helps you improve your understanding and knowledge about power electronics technology and its emerging applications. The main categories of available power semiconductor devices, uncontrolled, semi-controlled and fully controlled power semiconductor devices, are presented in this series. Today we will be focusing on uncontrolled and semi-controlled power semiconductor devices. Uncontrolled power semiconductor devices Diodes are uncontrolled power semiconductor devices because their on and off states are based on the power circuit. Diodes are mainly two terminal devices, namely, anode, positive terminal, and cathode, negative terminal. Let's consider a single phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier circuit made up of a power diode, input alternating current, AC, voltage source and resistive load. Input AC voltage source has a peak voltage of 230 volts at the positive half cycle and a peak voltage of 230 volts at the negative half cycle, operating at a fundamental frequency of 50 Hz. The diode conducts whenever the voltage of the anode is higher than the cathode, which occurs at the positive half cycle of the input AC voltage source. Whenever the voltage of the anode is less than the cathode, the diode will not conduct which occurs at the negative half cycle of the input AC voltage source. In addition, the amplitude of the output voltage and output current is dependent on the value of the resistive load. When the value of the resistive load is increased, the amplitude of the output voltage and output current is reduced. Both the output voltage and output current are in phase with each other. Let's consider a single phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier circuit with an inductive and resistive load. This circuit consists of an input AC voltage source, a power diode, an inductive load, and a resistive load. The addition of an inductive load affects the shape of the output voltage and output current. The diode conducts the same way as previously discussed. However, the output voltage is out of phase with the output current. Whenever the value of the inductive load is much greater than the resistive load, the load becomes purely inductive. Another feature of an inductive load is the fact that the output voltage, represented by the blue line, will charge and discharge when current flows through the diode. When current starts to decrease based on the input source, the inductor will discharge which reduces the output voltage into the negative half cycle. However, when the diode stops conducting current, the output voltage also becomes zero. Whenever, the value of the resistive load is greater than the inductive load, the output load of the circuit becomes resistive. Therefore, the output voltage and the output current will be in phase with each other. Semi-controlled power semiconductor devices Thyristors are semi-controlled power semiconductor devices because they are switched on by a control signal but turned off by the power circuit. Thyristors are mainly three terminal devices, namely, anode, positive terminal, cathode, negative terminal, and the gate. The main current flows from the anode to the cathode when a positive gate pulse is applied to the gate terminal. Let's consider a single phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier circuit made up of a thyristor, input alternating current, AC, voltage source and resistive load. Input AC voltage source has a peak voltage of 230 volts at the positive half cycle and a peak voltage of 230 volts at the negative half cycle, operating at a fundamental frequency of 50 Hz. The thyristor is triggered into the on state by applying a gate pulse at a specific firing angle which is 90 degrees in this instant. It requires an amplitude of 5 volts to switch on the thyristor. During the positive half cycle of the input AC voltage source, the thyristor starts conducting when the gate pulse is applied at a firing angle of 90 degrees and current starts flowing from the anode to the cathode of the thyristor. With a resistive load of 5 ohms, the current, represented by the blue line, flowing through the thyristor is about 45 amperes. The value of the resistive load affects the amplitude of the output voltage, represented by the green line, and output current, represented by the blue line, of the circuit. However, at the negative half cycle of the input AC voltage source when the voltage supplied is less than zero, the thyristor is turned off. The thyristor remains turned off until the gate pulse is applied at 90 degrees again. If the firing angle of the gate pulse is changed to 45 degrees with the same resistive load, the shape of the output voltage and output current changes. The output voltage is represented with a red line and the output current is represented with a green line. If the firing angle of the gate pulse is changed to 22.5 degrees with the same resistive load, the shape of the output voltage and output current changes. The output voltage is represented with a red line and the output current is represented with a green line. 
Let's consider a single phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier circuit with an inductive and resistive load. This circuit consists of an input AC voltage source, thyristor, inductive load and a resistive load. The addition of an inductive load affects the shape of the output voltage and output current. The thyristor still conducts the same way as previously discussed, with the firing angle 90 degrees. However, the output voltage is out of phase with the output current. Whenever the value of the inductive load is much greater than the resistive load, the load becomes purely inductive. Another feature of an inductive load is the fact that the output voltage, represented by the light green line, will charge and discharge as current flows through the thyristor. When current starts to decrease based on the input source, the inductor will discharge which reduces the output voltage into the negative half cycle. However, when the thyristor stops conducting current, the output voltage also becomes zero. Whenever, the value of the resistive load is increased to 5 ohms with the inductive load being 100 microhenry, the output load of the circuit becomes resistive. Therefore, the output voltage and the output current will be in phase with each other. Whenever, the value of the resistive load is increased to 1000 ohms with the inductive load being 100 millihenry, the output load of the circuit becomes more inductive. Therefore, the output voltage and the output current will be out of phase with each other. Current always lags voltage in an inductive load. Thank you for watching and afterwards and kindly subscribe to this channel for your weekly videos.